So I'm going to be completely honest and call myself out here and probably going to get some flack for it, but I'm just going to do it. So I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. I've been practicing since residency finished in 2002. So after four years of medical school and another four years of training specifically in women's health, I became a general OBGYN physician. I was a great obstetrician. I was a really, really good gynecologist, but I have to be honest with you, I was a terrible menopause provider. My chief year of residency was when the Women's Health Initiative was released and all meaningful education in menopause care stopped for about 20 years. It took years of clinical training. It took stepping outside of the box of what was presented to me by the boards that I was affiliated with. It took really listening to patients and absolutely believing them. I was taught that women were expected to be mad and sad once they were done with reproduction. That the only clinically relevant symptoms of menopause were hot flashes. And as painful as this is for me to come on here to admit, it's much more painful for you as a patient. Let me be clear. Menopause is so much more than the end of your periods, the end of reproduction, and a few bothersome hot flashes. As our sex hormones fluctuate and then decline, we see an acceleration of disease processes. Diseases such as atherosclerosis, hypertension, diabetes, insulin resistance, depression, anxiety. Depression, anxiety, and musculoskeletal disorders. This is far beyond what is expected with aging. This is directly due to the decline in our sex hormones. We need a tremendous amount of research in this area because intervention will likely decrease risk. So little in women's health is focused on prevention of her particular disease risks. We can prevent osteoporosis. We can likely delay or prevent cardiovascular disease definitely can delay or prevent mental health changes. You absolutely can accept the status quo. You can be healthy without hormone therapy. I think every woman deserves an individualized treatment plan looking at her particular risks and benefits and allow her to make a decision what she thinks is best, as well as access to education and information so she can make informed health choices.